So today I wanted to show you a few different ways that you can add some quality to your drone shots and give them a different character, a different vibe by using some simple animations in post. With any of these effects, it's very helpful to shoot your footage in 4K. That way you have that extra flexibility to punch in and animate it in editing without losing any quality. The first technique is super simple and that's just to punch into the shot in post. Just increase the scale so you have a more zoomed in image. This emphasizes the parallax in your shots. You're gonna see those different layers of depth moving against each other more dramatically as the camera moves. And I find this also just gives you a more cinematic vibe overall and helps to set your drone footage apart from the rest. In addition to just punching into the clip, you can also try animating the scale to zoom in as the camera moves. If you combine this with a shot where the camera is moving forward, you can create a really interesting effect where you're adding a lot more speed and energy to the shot. But you don't necessarily have to zoom in as the camera is moving forward. You can also do the exact opposite and zoom out as the camera moves forward. This is known as a dolly zoom or vertigo effect and creates a very interesting and trippy parallax effect in the footage. An effect that's very simple and subtle, but perhaps my favorite out of all of these is just a very slow tilt being added to the footage in post. And this is something that works best with widescreen footage. Basically what I'm gonna do is go to the very beginning of the clip and keyframe the position of the shot. Then I'm gonna use the extra space behind those widescreen bars to move the clip to either the top or bottom of the frame. Then I'm gonna go to the very end and keyframe it again, this time at the opposite side of the image. Then just go up to the graph editor and set the first keyframe to ease out and the last keyframe to ease in. The effect is so subtle that you might not even notice it looking at this clip, but we've basically just animated the shot to tilt up extremely slowly. If you've used a drone before, you know that achieving a camera move with this much precision and at this slow of a rate is pretty much impossible using the drone's actual tilt function. So this gives you a very subtle, interesting effect to add a cinematic quality to the clip. And the final effect I wanna show you how to create here is this rotate animation, where you basically just zoom into the clip and then animate it to rotate from one side to the other. If you pair this up with a very fast camera motion, especially where it's kind of spinning around something, you can create an effect that looks almost like one of those kind of FPV racing drones that's very popular right now for cinematic videos. But that being said, I hope you've learned something new from this video, gotten some new ideas from it. And if you did, do feel free to share your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. But that's all for now. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next one.